Hey everybody, it's Brett here with the Tuning School. We're back doing our injection testing. We just finished up the Boost Juice. We're going to compare it to water and see which one wins. Alright, so we're going to go over the results for the Boost Juice. Uh, but before we do, let's talk a little bit about what it is. Impressive. Uh, yes, boy, you're getting ahead of yourself, Bob. We okay. have to talk about right. what it is. I'm, I'm Calm bad. down. I know I'm you're bad. excited. All okay, right. so it's water. Sure. And it's meth. Methanol. It's a, it's a concentration of both of them. Yes. Um, and it comes from Snow, this particular yep. brand of it right here. Boost Juice comes from Snow Performance. Yep. They're the company that actually makes the kit. Yep. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Right. So let's talk about the previous best really sure. quickly, all right? Sure. So water, water made 577 and 514. This made 608 and 335. 535. 535, wrote it backwards, yes. foot pounds. Yes. So it made awesome power. Sure. So like there, like this actually surprised us a ton yeah, because like when you sit down and look at it, it made more power than all of the race fuels. Yes. Not the ethanol fuels. The right. ethanol fuels. gasoline-based race fuels. All the gasoline-based yes. fuels. Yes. It made better by, I think it was two, three horsepower? Yeah, I mean, 605 would be our best. Uh, and that was gasoline, C16. Yeah, C16. Best uh, gasoline-based race fuel was 605 and 528 foot-pounds, whereas the boost juice on 93-octane pump gas plus boost juice and a little bit of tuning, it's 608 and 535 foot pounds. Yeah, you can't beat that. And when you really look at yeah. the power over, you know, 93 Curve, octane, yeah. you're looking at 574 mm -hmm. for 90, just 93 octane and 608. There's a huge gap there. You're over 30 yeah. horsepower. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's really, really good. Uh, we were very, very thoroughly impressed with it. Yeah. Um, and that pretty much brings us to our pros and cons. Yeah. Cons, really nothing again. Yeah. There is, we didn't see any adverse effects from it. Like we said in the last video, there was some problems with our setup. Right. But other than that, this stuff works really, really well. If it's spraying, it works fine. It works awesome. Yeah, yeah we really absolutely. wouldn't have any reason to think it wouldn't spray. But in terms of cons, I'm sure someone will post on YouTube or something. Yeah, what oh, if what, it doesn't spray? What if it doesn't spray? Um, okay, so we have worked with meth injection kits since, for, I don't know, the early 2000s. People were using them long before that. That's kind of when we started playing with them. Mm -hmm. And um, they've come a really long way in terms of reliability and making sure you're not going to blow up your motor because you're running injection. Yeah. You know, and, and if it does happen to not run. So they have safeties and whatnot and, you know, built into them. Um, I have not experienced a bunch of personal failures, nor have I seen customers with a bunch of sure, failures. absolutely. Or I wouldn't even be testing them. I gotcha. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. So let's talk about pros. Yeah. Um, it's shippable. It's shippable. A and the boost what juice. we mean by that is you can actually like ship this stuff. You yep. can you can ship your boost. Yes. Uh, your so, boost juice. Yeah, you can ship your boost juice. Yes. So I think it's really because it's it's a mixture of the water and the meth. It's not actually a bi a biohazard basically sure. anymore. Right. And so this stuff can actually ship to your door, yeah, which it's is not a very convenient. Classified material. I think it has to do with ratios of water to meth and all they put in it. I don't know exactly what they are. Yeah. Um, but that is why you can order it straight to your door, and it will clearly outperform water. Yeah, um, very which, easily. Which and does, in fact, we yes. do have to, in fact, take the belt away from water here. Yes. And slide it over boost juice because yes. it indeed is the winner at the moment. Absolutely. So up next, we've got straight meth. Yep. We're very excited about this because given the way the trends are going, water was the lowest, boost juice is better. We'll straight see. meth should be the best. We don't know about how much. We've got some ideas. We're we'll going to keep them to ourselves. Yes, we're, we're, we're not going to be biased here. We're, we're not going to be biased. We're going to run we're it gonna, and see. We're going to see, see what see happens, but we're very, very excited. Yep. So make sure that you guys keep watching out for that next video. For more high-performance tuning knowledge, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on social media, and as always, stay tuned.